Welcome everybody to the Free Truth Show. We have a special guest. I am your host today, Patrick Lynch. We have a special guest, Pernilla Hagberg from Sweden. She's from the Swedish uh, Green Party. And she's very bravely uh, came out and spoke about the, uh, the chemtrail issue, the aerial spraying that's going on over Sweden and many countries across the world. Well, we know them as chemtrails. It's uh, quite fancily known by the geoengineers as geoengineering, aerial spraying, uh, call it what you will, uh, our skies and our environment and our health is being poisoned by these uh, chemical trails, not contrails, not condensation trails, condensation trails disappear after about 30 seconds. These are full of heavy metals and they hang around and form banks of cloud and often uh, block out the sun. So it is my absolute pleasure to speak to Pernilla Hagberg uh, from Sweden uh, live. Um, welcome, Pernilla. How are you? Thank you. Uh, I'm yes, fine. Thank you. Now it, uh, I, <laughs> it feels so great. I can't really believe how big it is in the whole world. Right. So what's happened is, let's let the public know what's happened. <clears throat> Excuse me. You've come out and an article has appeared in um, a relatively small magazine and you've spoken about chemtrails publicly. Now, you may not know it, but you're one of the first politicians in history to come out publicly and speak about chemtrails, let alone who might be doing it, uh, the CIA or the NSA or your Swedish government. And it's gone absolutely viral on the internet. It's exploded across the internet and uh, it got 221,000 uh, hits almost immediately and several hundred an hour and growing. And it's reached many websites across the planet. So you've been flung into the limelight. And we, on behalf of all the sky watchers across the planet that have been screaming like a banshee for years, we would like to thank you uh, from the bottom of our hearts that you have the guts and the bravery to come out and speak out and help people understand. The, the aim of this interview is to get Swedish people who are very environmentally aware to look up in the sky. That is the purpose of, of this interview. We want the Swedish people and the people of the world to look up in the sky and notice what is happening, that it's not normal. So uh, you spoke to this magazine. Um, they contacted you, presumably and they published an article. And um, how did that begin? Can you tell us about that? Yes, uh, I can. Um, it started with a um, photo uh, who was the, taken by the newspaper um, for, um, four way, weeks ago, I think. Uh, and it was a photo on, um, on sugar trails in the sky, and uh, they have an, um, um, oh, I don't know what to say. Um, the photograph, yeah. Uh, yes, but uh, then they have an um, written under, under the photo, uh, but it was, <laughs> and it, uh, they say it was um, just ordinary, um, uh, Contrail. Oh, I, <laughs> yeah, condensation. <laughs> yes. yes. Um, and um, I think it was just uh, so wrong. So I contacted the newspaper and uh, I explained what it was. And um, they really wanted to uh, make it so big because I was a uh, politician. Right. So. Um, so you knew about chemtrails before you saw the photograph in the newspaper. You wanted to correct yes. them. I see. Yes, of course. Uh, I have uh, read and uh, heard about it in almost six years, I think. Right. Um, so I know a lot of it. Well, that, um, um, that's longer than me. I've been researching it about four years. I have a YouTube channel, Free Truth Show, and Facebook. And I've been screaming at people for years and making videos. I have over 50 hours. But um, so you knew about chemtrails for six years and 
the article went uh, viral and I have um, something here from uh, Afton see now my Swedish is not very good <laughs> uh, Af Afton Bladet Afton Bladet and they've gone with uh, is that a big uh, is that a big website in in Sweden Afton Bladet Yes, it's a very, very big uh, site. Right, so... And, uh, and the very big uh, newspaper. Yeah, oh, it's a newspaper. And the headline they go with is Politicians, CIA injects toxins over Sweden. Um, uh, it was in Katrine Holmes' Courier. That was it. Um, chemicals, viruses and heavy metals sprayed out over Sweden by the CIA and the government. I, I have one question for you, Penilla. Uh, mm -hmm. Why do you think it's the CIA? What leads you to believe that it may be the CIA or the NSA? Because uh, they have the um, resource. I think as a, I don't. I'm so. I'm not so very sure. But it's just you uh, would say it probably be other countries too, like Russia. Yeah. Well, I can tell you, I can tell you that it is the CIA that they have a a front group, a front organization called Evergreen Air, based in America, in the USA, and they have uh, numerous uh, companies, private companies that spray the aircraft that are spraying these chemtrails are often unmarked that means there's no numbers on them that's against the law and they fly um, however they want wherever they want and spray these chemtrails and Evergreen Air is one of the main companies behind it so there is a CIA connection um, The aim of this interview is to is to to thank you mainly. Uh, you've had wonderful uh, responses from the public. How many emails do you think you've had now in your inbox? Oh, I think it's um, nearly two hundred. I think, and uh, about um, hundred from other countries. Sure, that's fantastic. So, are you, are you surprised at how many people are concerned about this around the world, or did you know? I have not a clue. So, um, I'm so overwhelmed uh, with uh, supporting. I don't. I didn't know it could be so very, very big. Absolutely. Well, the chemtrails themselves, um, they're having a devastating effect on our health because they're nanoparticulates. They're heavy metals, aluminium oxides. They're using barium salts. This is all independently verified tests and analysis of soil, water, and air samples from carnicominstitute.org in America. And the effect on our health is through the roof. It's why we believe that the asthma is uh, on the increase big time, that respiratory diseases are, 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 um, are being reported through the roof. And ambulance drivers are saying that when they notice the trails, children are coming in with breathing problems um, more than ever that day. So, and the effect on the environment, it's change, altering the pH of the soil. Um, it's, it's devastating crops and some trees are begin, beginning to die back. So folks, if you don't care about yourselves and you only care about the planet, this is the issue for you. It's the biggest crime against the planet and humanity in history and uh, so thank you Pernilla for bringing this to people's attention how's it going down with your colleagues this story um, are you getting support it's, uh, uh, it's been um, uh, some uh, difference <laughs> um, I think it's been fine I don't uh, I haven't um, been missing so many people but uh, none have been stupid or angry at me. Excellent, excellent. Because most people are called uh, conspiracy theorists. Well, there's nothing uh, theoretical about it. If people look up in the sky, it's actually happening. 
it's incredible. People can't understand um, why our voices aren't being heard, why it isn't being addressed. Well, now there are very there are a lot of reasons for that. I won't go into um, corrupt governments and private organisations, etc., working in tandem too much. But the aim of this interview is to is to give the basics to people that. Are, a weather experiment is going on above your heads and it's affecting our health and the environment. We're just asking people to look up in the sky and please notice these big trails. Condensation, 30 seconds, gone. That's a contrail. Um, chemtrail hangs around, forms banks of clouds for, uh, for, for hours. So, And also I've got an article here. German scientists are suing the government on the chemtrails issue. A TV news report from, Ge from Germany it's on YouTube confirmed that the German military is manipulating the climate in Germany. As a result, scientists have filed a lawsuit against the government for climate manipulation. Uh, did you, were you aware of that, Panilla? Yes, I, I've heard about it, uh, but I haven't uh, seen it. Uh, it was the one person who sent me a movie but it was on Germany, uh, so I, I couldn't understand uh, what it was. But, but uh, I have heard about it and uh, about the military and so on. So uh, um, I think I should look at it more. Sure. Um, now, what's, what's next uh, on your agenda with this story? Um, are you just going to see how it develops, or do you have other plans to bring this story more to the public? Oh, I have not think um, so long. <laughs> yes, now I'm very, very busy <laughs> to uh, answer and have contact uh, with, uh, with uh, so many people. But uh, I hope uh, I can go on in some way. Uh, um, contact the um, local newspaper, Katina um, Pons, and uh, ask if they want to do another interview. But I haven't said that an answer. Excellent. Uh, we look forward to that and um, we hope that happens. Now, in the um, article from uh, Aftenbladet, for example, for example, um, you mentioned it mentions that you raised this topic in Parliament. Is that true? Uh, a topic. What did you say? Did Did you ask questions in Parliament? Is that true? If I have no, I <coughs> don't have. But okay. I heard about it. Right, yeah, okay, so, so that, that's not strictly true then. I'm just checking things with the article. And one other thing I wanted to check, who is um, <coughs> Roy Hagberg and Pernilla Hagberg? It's two different people, right? Yeah. Roy Hagberg? I don't know. Uh, Roy Ah, uh, it's not me, anyway. Yes, two different people, yeah, okay. Um, yes, uh, it is one of the biggest phenomena that exist in Sweden right now. Uh, these streams, trails, contain a lot of chemicals, viruses and heavy metals such as aluminium that affect the weather. That's what Roy Hagberg said. Um, but uh, the it's the meteorological services, the S M H I, the Meteorological um, Institute, um, they're saying that there's no evidence that chemtrails exist, that it's conspiracy theory, etc. Um, and they're talking about um, they're talking about humidity, all the same sort of stories. So the official um, meteorological institutes, etc. Um, they have a they're towing the party line. Um, In Sweden, the people themselves, the Swedish public, how much do they know about chemtrails? Are oh, too little, I think. Um, I don't 
uh, I don't think so many people want to know about how it really is. I think they are very afraid to look for the truth. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, it's the same here. People are worried about where their next um, money is coming from and keeping their job and feeding their family. And it's, sometimes it's too much. They don't want to know. And some people are scared. In fact, uh, many politicians, I believe, are actually scared. And I would like to say to other Swedish politicians and other politicians across the planet that this lady has stood up and bravely spoken out on chemtrails and you need to do the same too. It takes a woman with guts to show the men how it's done, <laughs> basically. So, um, so, yes, I mean, it's, it's, very, it's very usual that when a prominent uh, public person like yourself uh, comes out and speaks on sensitive topics, it's, it's very us usual that they lambast you or ridicule you. Um, but y you've had um, you've had no um, you've had no y your colleagues have been quite supportive uh, you're going to contact more newspapers um, is there a chance that if you contacted Swedish television do you think they would be interested in interviewing you maybe the uh Last week, uh, before uh, the weekend, uh, I believe it was um, on Friday, maybe, they uh, contacted me and asked if uh, I wanted to be on TV. Oh, please but, do. Uh, yes, uh, but please. Uh, I couldn't uh, do it because um, I should have uh, other works to do. Yes. And uh, when it was on the news, Later in the, that uh, evening, or in today, I think it was in the um, Swedish uh, TV uh, called uh, SCT. Uh, but I wasn't there. But uh, they talk about me, as they do. We have um, a newspaper clipping here. Um, in the Kent, in a, a local newspaper in Kent, in the last, uh, sorry, the biggest local newspaper in England. Um, do do our clouds have a sinister lining? Campaigners fear secret experiments are taking place above our heads. Now, th this is not this is Ben Dodds. So thank you to everybody there. And the climate change department denies conducting such experiments. And um, so it, we're starting to break through. There has been a media blackout, Pernilla, on this subject for 17 years. They've been spraying since around 19, 1996 or 98. It began in earnest. But in Dorset, where I live in, this, in southern England, they had the Dorset biological trials where they, they had a ship um, moored off the coast of Portland and Dorset and they sprayed... Uh, anthrax mimicking agents and E. coli and then monitored the public to see what reactions would happen. Well the reactions that happened was that people, women had um, miscarriages, uh, lost their babies and lots of cancer through the roof. Uh, so it's not the first time they've experimented on the public and that was from 1963 right through to 1975. So um, they've done it before, they're doing it now. Chemtrails are very real, folks, and um, there's, there's so much for me to say, but I, I want to leave the last few words for yourself. Um, and again, humanity thanks you, Pernilla Hagberg. You're already a legend, and we wish you the very best. And we'd like to ask you if you have any um, your, uh, final thoughts on this subject. Oh, it's a lot. Um, I um, I really hope uh, that the humans in the whole world can come together and uh, make it even stronger. Because I I think the light is so much stronger when the dark. 
and I think we can win this game if we can cope with the game. Um, and I used to think about um, uh, imagine uh, that uh, it's uh, John Lennon. John Lennon, yeah. It's uh, very, very <laughs> good. Uh, so I, I think uh, that's good. Thank you. Well, thank you, Pernilla Hagberg from the Green Party in Sweden. Uh, very happy to speak to you. And thank you for all your wonderful work. And we'll be continue to ask people to email the Swedish government for a reply. I did email the Prime Minister. Uh, no reply, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, so we will be continuing our Facebook page. Um, Facebook page is GSOC. That's G-S-O-C. Go Sweden on chemtrails. And so join the group and help support um, Pernilla Hagberg, who's bravely come out and spoken about chemtrails. Um, there's a thousand questions I have for you. I wish I could think of them. Um, uh, that's basically it, really. Um, we wish you the best of luck and um, your safety and your, your mind uh, will be safe and strong. And we wish you the best and much, re much respect to you. Thank you so very much for all your support. Thank you. Goodbye now. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.